Remember those orange things you saw in the cedar tree last week? Maybe you wondered what they were. They last only a day or two each year and then they're gone. They are part of a fascinating tree disease called cedar apple rust. This disease winters on cedar in small and inconspicuous gray knots. There it waits for its favorite conditions, soaking spring rains when temperatures are in the 60s or higher. Overnight, these knots swell into bright orange tentacled masses that are jelly-like to the touch and the size of baseballs. They give the cedar the appearance of a decorated Christmas tree, though their color is more like Halloween. In two days, the masses dissolve and fade to obscurity, but their dirty work is already done. The masses are called teleal horns and they produce billions of disease spores that blow in the wind and seek out apple and hawthorn trees. Other kinds of trees are not affected. When the disease finds developing leaves of the right host, it immediately causes small spots that eventually turn to golden splotches on the leaves. Later, developing fruit is also spotted and blemished, making apples unsightly and hard to sell. By fall, spores return to the cedars, completing one of the more complex cycles in nature. The disease has little effect on this winter host. To remain viable, cedars and apples or hawthorns must live within about a quarter mile of each other. Farther than this, the disease chain is broken. If you wish to protect an apple crop for commercial harvest, treatment is necessary first thing in spring after leaves come out. You can learn how to do this by contacting your local agricultural extension office. However, eating affected apples in your yard or orchard causes no problems when the disease is present. It's just another reminder of the dynamic Kansas outdoors. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.